So here's an overview, a real quick one, of the J-Pole we're going to be building. Joke Balin, uh, feed point with the uh, shield going to the short stub, and the uh, long end soldered right here uh, over to the long stub. Got some gear clamps holding it in, some zip ties holding the pipe to the mast, and then, yeah, we had this adjustable sleeve right here, this half inch sleeve. We've got caps on the ends to prevent water getting in. So real quick, I want to go through the math behind the calculations here in case you want to do it yourself. So we're starting with the formula C equals lambda F. C is the speed of light, Celeritas. Lambda is the wavelength and F is the frequency. Uh, so we swap around the equation, we get lambda equals C over F. So C, the speed of light, uh, 2997924588 meters per second. The frequency we're using, so in my example, this is what I chose. This is the 2 meter calling frequency. 146.52 megahertz or 146.520000 hertz. So then we solve for lambda and we get 2.05 meters. Um, so we have to do a little of adjustment using copper. So this would be the speed through air, but uh, the equivalent speed in copper is a little bit slower. So we're going to multiply it by 0.96. So we're going to multiply our lambda, the 2.05 times that velocity factor, and get 1.968 meters. So this is. Um, the wavelength at our given frequency. And so now to find the long stub, you're just going to take, it's a three-quarter wavelength, so just multiply this number by three-quarters, and so this is the measurement for our long uh, end, 146.9 centimeters. Um, short stub is a quarter wavelength, so uh, divide lambda by four, 49 centimeters, and then the feed point is um, a tenth of the way up the short stub, so you can do lambda divided by 40, 4.9 centimeters. Pretty easy math. And so we've got two pieces of copper, um, two 90 degree fittings, two end caps to keep water out, and a sleeve uh, to help us adjust. Additionally, we've got some uh, paste flux and some solder, torch, tape measure. So um, basically, first thing we're going to do is, so this antenna is basically a J, as you can see right there. Um, so we're going to do the short end right here, which is this 19.3 inches. Uh, so we're going to get a little tubing cutter and cut my shorter one to 19.3 inches. So we're going to measure out that uh, should be about 19 and 5 sixteenths, uh, which will be... Alright, so we're going to solder our first joint. So the first thing we're going to do, we cleaned it as you saw with the emery cloth or some sandpaper. I'm going to put some flux, um, spread it around both, uh, both sides. So in there and in here. Just going to get a nice even coat. Alright. Now slide this cap back on. Um, so, with our propane torch, uh, we're going to heat it from I'm gonna start heating it from the bottom and then slowly feed the solder. And then lastly, we're just going to clean the joint a little bit. So I just cut my long one to length, that uh, 57.8 inches, and I'm going to make another cut randomly, just somewhere near the top, um, and use this coupler. So this is just a half inch coupler, 
Um, so that way there's a little bit of play so I can slide it as I tune it. Um, you don't need to do this, you could just cut it and leave it, but I'm going to try it. So I'm just going to make a random cut in there um, and then solder, or not quite solder it in yet, but I'll solder one end of it and have the other one still adjustable. So the last cut I'm going to do is um, for basically if you have your J, the bottom piece of the J that's going to connect the long and the short end, I'm going to cut this to, uh, it's not really super critical, but about five centimeters or about two inches long. So here's the J pull mostly assembled, so I haven't soldered this joint yet. So what I want to do is make sure that it's square before I solder it. Um, so one, like have them lined up, but then also just measure, see I got about a three inch gap here longer than I said I was going to do, but and just kind of get them, get it square and kind of clamp it there uh, before you solder it. So we have our J-pole sitting here, um, not totally complete, right? So this has yet to be uh, soldered so we can adjust here, sorry, this end piece is still sliding a little bit. And then down here, uh, so we're getting ready to put in the feed point. So I bought one of these from Amazon. So it's a standard SO239, basically a female uh, standard uh, model coax connector. Um, so there's the, the gold plated, the center line, um, we'll end up, we want to run to our long end. And then the shield, which is all of this metal part around it, we want to feed to this end. Um, so we're going to measure that uh, 4.9 centimeters or 1.9 inches up. Uh, and that'll be our feed point on both sides. We'll mark it. And basically, I'm just going to tack um, this base to the side. So the base, we want to connect to the short stub. And this, we want to connect to the long stub. So then I'm going to basically attach the base here and then connect some copper wire just to run to the feed point on this side from this little pin. <laughs> I decided to mount the feed point with uh, these worm gear clamps. One, it'll be easier to shift as I tune it, and two, it's just easier than soldering it. And so I already plugged in my RG8X uh, coax. I bought uh, 30 feet of it, it's 50 ohm coax, pretty good for this. Um, and so the next thing, we're, we're pretty much done other than tuning uh, and then mounting it. So in order to tune it, you need what's called an SWR meter. I have other videos about this too. Um, but so basically, we look at the back, we've got the antenna, it's going to plug into one side and then your radio to the other. Uh, so I'm going to plug the other end of this coax into here and then uh, we'll do some testing. So it's all wired in, so the first thing I'm doing, I'm making sure I'm on uh, the 2 meter call frequency, that's the frequency I programmed this for. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is just first I'm just going to announce on the net any station, this is Kilo Lima 5, India Foxtrot, antenna testing. Apologize for the noise. So now what, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hold the transmit button on my radio. Then I'm going to rotate this knob. So right now it's all the way uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to rotate it all the way until it's at set. Then I'm going to click this down for ref, and that'll show me my SWR. So let's try it. So holding down the transmit, rotating it. Okay. Okay. So an SWR of about two and a half. So now we can uh, adjust the length of the. We can adjust the length of the long one, and then try it again, and also adjust the length of the uh, feed points and see how it goes. So one more test. Down to like 1.7 ish now. Definitely could be better. I think uh, probably my soldering joints, my lengths aren't totally exact. I think 
I actually needed this one to be a little longer, but we'll test it out. So for the mast, you can use anything non-conductive, really. I've got this uh, square piece of L. You could use PVC pipe, and just again, non-conductive, I've got zip ties holding it in. Um, and so then I can mount this somewhere on my, oops, whoops, either on my roof uh, with more zip ties, or I want to start with it just on my deck and just uh, zip tie it in before I drill anything. All right, so the last thing we want to do is make a choke ballon. Um, so it's just uh, a five inch diameter, four turns of the uh, RG8X, the coax.